Okay. So, just walk through. Yes, please. And so, before I walk through, I want to tell you what is out. Yes, please. So, the local food purchasing study. That's is, that was the old section two. Right. The animal traceability, the slaughterhouse records, mm -hmm. that is out because that's in 525. Okay. Wetlands fees, except for the manure pipeline, um, repealing the sunset on that. So, the manure pipeline is still in The manure pipeline is still in here. Dicambra, the environmental stewardship program, regenerative farming, the conservation reserve program, the agricultural um, resource management program, and pump out tanks. They are all not in here anymore. And all of that is in 525 all except for Dicamba and the old section two. Correct. Okay. Correct. So in section one, you have the report on stabilization and revitalization of the ag industry. The changes here are streamlining what the report is going to be about. It is no longer a strategic plan. It's no longer a two-step process. There's probably no longer need for consultants or money. It's summarized current conditions within particular sub-sectors, product categories, and market channels that comprise Vermont food system. Recommend methods for improving the marketing of Vermont agricultural products. Compile technical assistance and capital resources available to farmers to assist in the first diversification of ag products. And after consultation with NOFA, provide an assessment of the potential to increase the amount of Vermont ag products that are purchased by school nutrition programs in the state, including an inventory of the ag products such as beef, eggs, or cheese. Should I move on? Yes. So in the dairy marketing assessment, there is some new language that you hadn't seen before, and it's that phrase subject to available grants or other funding after or before August 1st, 2019. That's the very first yes. mark. Yeah. So on or before August 1st, 2019, subject to available grants or other funding, the Secretary of Commerce and Community Development in consultation with AG shall contract with a qualified market consultant to conduct marketing. Assessment of the viability of the increasing consumption of Vermont dairy products in major metropolitan markets in New England and the Northeast. And all the rest of that then is it's the same as the Senate, yes. last Senate proposal? Yes. yes, it is. And the side by side by side? Yes. Okay. Should I move on? I'm trying to do things for documents, which is really four documents. <laughs> I know. <laughs> In section three is the soil conservation practice and payment for ecosystem services working group. The changes here are in the membership. Um, we talked about yesterday. Page five, there's a, a couple of different tweaks. You have the, the two persons representing farmers watershed alliances in the state instead of the three listed from the specific alliances. And instead of it saying at least two members of the Agricultural Water Quality Partnership, it just says two members of the Agricultural Water Quality Partnership. Um, okay. Should I move on? The University of Vermont is stuck over here just to carry your turn. Is that? I'm sorry, what's, what's... I'm just saying University of Vermont is sticking out here. It's just because yeah, it's, it's the margins on conference committee reports are even smaller than they are on bills, okay. or larger than they are on bills, so you get less space. All of these except ex officio members are by the secretary, so we will move the bit about the um, appointed by the alliance if that's gone. Yes, that's and correct. And there are two people. Yes. Okay, good. Okay. Good. Um, then you get to the clean water affinity card that has not changed. That takes you to page 8, section 5. This is the extension of the repeal, the sunset on, on farm slaughter. That has not changed. <laughs> that is the, um, and that's the house version. Where one yes. of the field is an yes. extension. Exactly. Yeah. 
Section 6 is the, the section that accompanied the, the extension of the, of the sunset on, on farm slaughter, specifically that clarifying that more than just an individual can own and purchase livestock for slaughter, uh, but then the, the, the animal needs to be slaughtered in a humane way. And that's the house version. That is the house version. As well as the proposed yes. center. Yes. Section 7 is the RFID report on use of radio frequency identification tag for livestock uh, at, at slaughterhouses. That has not changed. And was that used to be Section 10? I'm trying to follow along there. On the, well, it used to be Section 10 or 9. All of the, the slaughterhouse records provisions were removed. Remember the traceability? provisions, they were removed, so the sections were renumbered. Okay, I'm just, I'm just making sure I know where we are. Okay, good. Thank you. Um, that brings you to Section 8, the Working Lands Enterprise Board language, in their powers, not in their duties, in their powers, giving them the power to identify growing markets and opportunities for the livestock and poultry sectors, including promoting independent animal welfare certification programs. The definition that had been in the previous version of what an animal welfare certification program is, is deleted. That will be up to the board to define. Okay. Moving on. Um, section 9 is the carbon sequestration working group. That has not changed since the last version that you've seen. Section 10 is logger safety. The issue with the logger safety sections yesterday was on page 21, 26, 22 C. The um, proposal that I had called out from the House from our DM system hadn't incorporated the Appropriations Committee amendment yet. I went back later in the day yesterday and our editing staff had incorporated it. 2622C is what was in the appropriations amendment. The deputy secretary, deputy commissioner, Lincoln looked at it and approved. So, <laughs> where I'm, I'm not page 21, page 21, 2622C. <laughs> yeah, okay. This is the language that the House Appropriations Committee <clears throat> moved to change on the floor. When you were this there was a ways and means change too. Is that anything? There is a ways and means change. We haven't gotten to it yet. Okay, but that's that's in here. Okay, and the Senate knows that that the conference. Yes. Got, got a chance to look at it. They have okay. at least one of them. Um, should I move on? Page 22, that's the value added. Um, Forest Products Financial Assistance 2702, that has not changed in a while. <laughs> and then 12, section 12 is the one of the remaining sections left about the program doesn't get implemented unless there's funding. But there is funding for this, so it's left in. Um, it's really in just a surety to right up until the day the budget is signed and finalized that um, these programs won't have to be implemented if, if the final budget doesn't have money in them. That's the bottom of page 22. Yep. Okay. Page 23, section 13, that repeals the sunset on the Midor pipeline maximum fee. Page 23, section 14, that's the extension of the sunset for the sales tax exemption for advanced wood boilers. Section 15 is new. This is the Ways and Means Amendment. This is clarifying on page 24 that 100% of the monies transferred from the Clean Energy Development Fund to the Department of Taxes for the purpose of filling the hole created by the sales tax exemption on advanced wood boilers goes to the um, 
education plan. So all sales tax revenue now goes to the ed plan. Should I move on? Yes. Page 24, section 16, this is the PMO language that was in your original house proposal. It has not changed. Page 25, section 17, this is the commercial hauler language. The substance of this section is the same as the substance in your version of S-160. The effective date is pushed out <coughs> one year until July 1, 2020. So this would not go into effect until July 1, 2020. But I think that will work for commercial haulers. Um, they will have regulatory expectations that they will not be subject to this for residential. Um, and for units of less than four. This does give the General Assembly opportunity next year to change this requirement though. Um, you should be aware of that. You get what you want, but you have a little bit of a risk that it gets changed next year. Well, they, they had indicated they were gonna do a complete review of all of this, so they could do that anyway. Right. And section 18 is the effective dates. I need to play with the signature lines because that should not happen where you have the bottom. <coughs> so right here, you, you shouldn't have the, the beginning of the signature lines starting on, on the bottom of the page. So I'll, I'll have to, for what you're going to sign, I'll have to play with that for a little bit. I'm just getting some more. There were two places. I have note here about ACCD clarification for section two. Um, and that would have been the, I guess that was a subject to. So that's you know, that grant. Yeah. Yep, that's mm -hmm. that good. Okay. That's my okay. understanding. Is that it? Okay. Any, any more questions? Where did Alan go? I just want to hear from Alan. She did more than late. Was she was talking to Abby. She was talking to Abby, but she indicated to me that she thought it would be okay. She's broken on it. Okay. So, what's the dicamba? Okay. I didn't quite get what you guys wanted well, to do. Well, it sounded good. to me as if. If we could assure rule clarification, which is as close as we have, that they would go with it. That's what I heard from the science Yeah. Our understanding is we do have the camera not in five. Yes, they're discussing it. So Rodney's happy with it, we get a little suspension. No, it just it's so being included. Okay. Um, do you want me to propose, prepare your proposal with that camera in it? So it would be the, well, I, I don't want to hear from Ellen, but I, okay. yeah, I think we need to hear from Ellen because it's just those, there's so, two sections I want to ask. Yeah, so our, section one, so we were just on the phone with Allison, you said Secretary Allison Eastman, we're good with section one. Um, we're not. Uh, it's we only think been that, written six times. Now, yeah. So. I mean, it, it, it is the case that number section one, number one, is going to require some money, but I don't think it's worth holding things up. But we will figure out a way to get it done. Um, so I, I think we. But just in terms of how it was presented, it's not a completely without resources. But we will figure that out. Um, in terms of the working lands, whatever that new section number is, um, we're we're uh, fine with that. And you speak for the board. On uh, I mean, I'm on the board, but it's, it's really a, sec, a deputy secretary Eastman's call. And do you want to represent? Yeah, the sure. For Brian Patch, Agency of Agriculture. Um, yeah, this this language is workable. Uh, acknowledging that yes, there will this will require financial outlay and some monies to do part of the report, but committed to working uh, to make it happen this year. That was section one, but the working section lands one. piece. Oh, the working lands piece. Um, where that's being placed. Um, you, you, that, that's it's workable. It's um, that it's it's 
good to not have that in the um, duty section. It's, you know, having that in the power section is fine and uh, will work for um, the agency. So I, I think where we are is that we can go with this and if I can put in it. Uh, I, I would like to just have one quick recess with two. Okay. Is that possible? Uh, can I kick this off? I'm getting yes. the tape running. Okay. Is that good? Okay. Mr. O'Grady, is it our understanding that this is what we last talked about with the seed review language added? That's correct. Seed review is nothing no. more, nothing less. Last substantive section before the effective date. Six PSA 642. It is the language that was in the original house proposal to S160, directing the secretary prior to sale, distribution, or use of a new genetically engineered seed to review the traits of the new seed um, and may prohibit the rest restrict condition or limit the sale, distribution, or use of that seed. Um, and then there's the directive to, for the secretary to convene a seed review committee to um, advise in the review of seed traits of new genetically engineered seed. Um, that is it. And Representative Strong, we, I guess I would ask you, being from the Republican caucus, you're confident this can get a rule suspension to move this along? We did have a team huddle um, and with our, our chair and uh, Elizabeth on the committee, and we got the thumbs up. Thumbs up from your leadership? Yes. Is it, yes, um, with, with Rodney saying that he's comfortable with it and the, that sort of thing, there's no threat that it would be not able to be suspended. Okay. Sure, we sign. We we appreciate the, um, the back and forth. We you know, come to a point where I think we're in agreement. So your, your section Thanks one, again. Um, we reviewed that. Got some testimony. That looks good. Uh, we can live with the um, working lands piece and the hauler stuff. I think we're in a, a happy place. So good. I think we're, we're set. If you're set, we're. I think I think we're I'm good. Good. Okay. Let's Thank you this. very good. much. Let's sign it. Thank you. Okay. Appreciate yeah, it. Thank you. 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 Thank <laughs> Yay for the ag committees. Okay, Signing good. two right in a row. Yeah. Yeah. Models yeah. the 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 yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wow. That was an interesting experience watching you in action. Me, please. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Throwing things at each other already. You gotta give the big champions thumbs up, mug for the right. <laughs> yeah. Should we do yeah, the whole was, like oh, handshake again? You were on the big with that. I'm the shake for the yeah. Yeah. for the yeah. education. Yeah. Yes, yeah. 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 That, was, that was and then what happens? You guys take the bill to the clerk because it's, it's, it's a S bill. S bill, so the house delivers it to their mm -hmm. clerk. Then it's about when they take it up. They have the ability to call it up off the pending notice calendar. Right. But I don't know okay. what the agreement is. Wonderful. Thanks. So it's it's to the the clerk. Clerk. Yes. As fast as yeah. these copies, thank you. Over oh, yeah. 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 Any copies of them signed for the archives? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. But yeah. that's the original. I'm just gonna make a copy. I'm not gonna. Right. I'm not gonna keep okay. the original. I wish we had time <laughs> to get a group photo, but yeah. we all. We will. We really got one. <laughs> Thank you. We enjoyed some quality time together. Yes, absolutely.